Of course, when most of us think of fishing bait, we think of another denizen of the dark, night crawlers. And if you're after big, juicy ones, Toronto, Canada is the worm capital of the world. Pagonis Live Bait is one of Toronto's biggest names when it comes to worms. Here at Pagonis Live Bait, we package and distribute 120 million worms annually. And they look like this. Over a billion worms are exported all across North America. Their scientific name is Lumbricus terrestrius. The often cool and damp weather, along with the type of soil around Toronto, are ideal for worms. Pagonis pays local farmers for the right to harvest the night crawlers living underground on their land. Dairy farms have the advantage of producing a lot of manure, which provides nutrients that helps keep worms fat and happy. Once it's dark, vans begin to arrive. Each van driver has delivered a group of pickers from the city to the fields chosen to harvest tonight. This is my own truck. The picker's independent. Whatever they make uh, is written down at the end of the night, and I'm responsible for paying them. Since the van drivers and the pickers aren't on his payroll, Chris Pagonis is never sure how many will show up. We've had as low as 20, 30, 40 pickers a night, as high as 200 pickers a night, depending on the quality of the field and the conditions. And being the nightcrawler industry, it is very competitive. As a business, you need excellent worm-producing fields, simply because of the fact that the more worms you can produce on your farm, the more people you have picking on your farm. Lots of worms now. Aside from warm and waterproof clothes, if it's cool and raining like tonight, standard worm picking equipment includes a 12-volt battery-powered light that's strapped to the forehead and two coffee cans. Pickers typically strap them on the sides of their lower legs. One can is for picked worms, and the other contains sawdust they will periodically dab their fingers in to make sure they haven't gotten too slimy to get a good grip on the worms. Earthworms are called night crawlers because that's what they do to look for food, and possibly a mate. Larger night crawlers can reach lengths of five to six inches, and often don't come up all the way out of the ground. Worms come up head first, so basically the art of picking a worm is actually pretty much grabbing it by its head area over here and plucking it out of the ground. Its natural reaction is to clamp and grip itself with earth. However, while you're tugging it, it it's, uh, it'll loosen itself up. There's a worm right there. So by putting a little pressure on it, this one's a little bit difficult. It'll pull, you'll pull it right out of the ground. Pickers spend most of the night crouched or bent over. They can be wet, cold, and must move quickly and quietly, or the worms will dart back under the surface. But there's a simple reason why they're willing to spend a sleepless night traversing a field full of mud, manure, and worms. Pickers generally earn anywhere between $18 and $25 a thousand, and on average, picker can pick uh, 15 to 20, 25,000 worms on a given night. However, that's not every night. Sometimes they work eight hours or 10 hours, and they only pick 1,000 worms. Sometimes they don't pick anything, but on a super night, they can pick up to 30,000 worms. The next morning, one by one, the vans arrive at the Pagonis facility to drop off their portion of the night's catch. Uh, I finally arrived back here in Toronto after dropping off all the pickers. I have about 200,000 worms in the back that I have to unload, and then my job is done. Upon arrival, workers place about 500 worms into containers filled with soil containing organic matter that provides nutrition for the worms. Then, to keep them fresher longer, it's off to the cooler. Once the worms are on the pallet, we bring them into our refrigerated storage area. The worms are kept at about 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius. And the lights are kept on as well because it keeps the worms inside the boxes. They're sensitive to the light. They don't like it. Each cooler holds about 80 skid spots. Each skid holds about 50,000 worms. So this cooler is holding about 4 million worms at this moment. There are four coolers in the facility, and the worms can stay there for months. To fill wholesale orders, big batches of worms are prepared for shipment. And Pagonis also supplies directly to retailers. They've also recently automated one packaging line. This is our retail packaging area where we take worms that have been taken out of their original bedding, 
And what we do then is we place 12, 18, or 24 worms in each container. Once we pack our worms, our worms are then ready to ship all over North America.